Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We've had a nice little break. I think we're safe from the dinosaurs for a minute, so let's go back and have another go with them. I was going almost completely the wrong direction. I want to be heading that way. So we'll land up on top of here a minute. Stop right there. There we go. What have we got down below us? See here, it looks like really, it's, you know, it seems like a really nice place. Seems really friendly. But then you, you sort of get down a little bit lower and you start to explore a bit and you realize actually there is nothing friendly anywhere in this game at all. It's just not friendly at all. I'm going to jump off of you there. Uh, we'll go over here. Explore a note. There we go. Ah, right. Gigantosaurus. That might have been one of the ones that we've seen. Level up is now available, and we get extra XP because we got the Explorer note. So, uh, no, I'm not going to gather any metal yet. Tempting though it is to go and grab a load of metal, I'm not going to get any metal just yet. Uh, oh, I didn't even want to do that. Let's just put more carry weight on me, which I didn't want to do. Uh, may as well just go with my movement speed. I keep going, not there. It doesn't really matter now. Um, you, you've got a basic idea of everything that works in, you know, how everything that works in this game, um, and how it all goes. Some of you have said that you really want to get this game because of seeing me play it. Others of you have said, actually, I've just confirmed that you don't really think this game is for you. And that's good. That's, that's, that is why I do this. That is why I, well, one of the reasons that I do this is so that... You can see the games, you can decide for yourselves then whether or not you think that the game is something that you want to get involved with, something that you'd like to have a go with, or if you think, well, actually, no, I've seen you playing it and I've seen the things that you've done. That doesn't appeal to me at all. I'm going to give this one a miss. And I've had people from both sides coming out and saying, um, some of you, I know absolutely love this game i've had comments from people who have put in thousands of hours into this game and some of you have spent a lot of time playing this game and you do so with a large group of friends and you have an absolutely wonderful time playing it i've had offers of um allowing me to come in and join a um join a server and, and and do like the, the multiplayer version of it instead of just doing it as single player like i've been doing at the moment um and i really appreciate those offers it's absolutely brilliant that you've um reached out and you've uh, invited me to come along and join your servers and, and things like that but again it's not something that i want to do it's like it, it's it's not for me um that right there is a Spinosaurus, that thing there in the water. It's an aquatic type. It's, it's kind of half aquatic and half land mammal. But mammal, dinosaur. Half aquatic and half land. Um, my youngest son, some of you will have seen him on Frithgar 2.0. Um, he's quite mad about dinosaurs. He loves dinosaurs. And those are his absolute favorite dinosaurs. The... The Spinosaurus is his absolute favourite. As far as he's concerned, life doesn't get much better than a Spinosaurus. Right, they are they are the single greatest dinosaur that has ever lived. Alright, let me keep going. Your Zorta Triple Seven. We've got the stamina drain debuff going on at the moment. There's not a lot we can look at all these dinosaurs flapping around. There's so many, it's so heavily populated now. There's something that I don't like about it. It used to be a lot less heavily populated on um, on the game. Like you had to go a little bit further af afield in order to be able to find dinosaurs. And now that's not the case. There are thousands, literally thousands of everything. Yeah, some of them are region specific, like the, the big snakes and stuff like that. But... Most of it is just you, you go out and there are literally hundreds of dinosaurs absolutely everywhere. I mean, look at it. This, this place is absolutely choked with hundreds of them all over the place. And you can't get away from any of them. 
And this is something that I don't particularly like about it. Compared to how the game used to be for me, um, the, the sheer concentration, the sheer overabundance now i'm going directly into the sunlight this is this is not making it easy for me the shit the, the huge concentration of dinosaurs and the overabundance of dinosaurs here what is what is going on there what are those things let me come down here a minute they look like giant dodos but Let's uh, get away from them a minute. I've only got 60 stamina, though, so I need to be careful. I was trying to regenerate, and I hadn't. Right, let's drop down here. I don't know if he's, like, just supposed to be scared or what. There's something coming up there. So we'll sprint away again. I don't want it killing my Flappy. I've brought the Flappy all the way back this far now. So I don't really want him to go and die. Bring him down here. Tyrannodon is leveled up. Right, those little bugs don't seem to be doing anything. So let's go in here and I want to increase stamina. Put me up to 243 on stamina. He's actually getting hungry. He doesn't have any food. Let's go again. Go up here like this. So what have I got there? That's, um... Fiomias and, and stuff like that. Let's have a look at our map a second and, and see how we're doing. Right. We want to go that way. That's the direction we need to fly. And that should take us straight back home. In theory. Now. Can I land here without being ambushed? There's things around us. There's there's creatures up over there. See what I mean by the, the, the number of dinosaurs everywhere? It's like you can't move anywhere with them. And they used to be a lot more spread out than this. And now you've got them such high concentrations everywhere. That's another thing that some people really like. Some people like the challenge of everything being difficult. Other people, it's, it's not really for them. I'm, I'm definitely of the, the, the latter group there. It, it's the sheer massive concentration of dinosaurs making everything far more difficult. That's something that actually takes away from the pleasure of playing the game uh, for me. I think this game would be more enjoyable if you didn't have this huge concentration of dinosaurs everywhere across the whole map. It... Um, yeah, it it doesn't seem quite right. Oh, right, we're we're literally just across there, and then we're home. So we want to now go and get some metal. That's, that's our next thing. We'll flap over this way. We we'll go and find a mountain top. Actually, there would probably there's the big swamp. There's probably metal right behind us, but that's the mountain top that we've been using to get our metal is over that way. I've got 70 stamina, so let's just come down here a minute and replenish on there. You can see, just flying around. So we're, I've, I've given you a good idea over the last couple of episodes of just how big this game actually is. The final thing that we're going to do before I wrap up my playthrough on here, I'm hoping if this crashes again, I'm just going to like give you a quick close down on where it was. I'm, I'm literally just going to say, look, I can't do this anymore. Um, we're going to go up over there. We're going to grab a little bit of metal from the top of that cliff and we're going to go back and we're going to make our saddle. That's the last thing that we're going to do. And we're going to, well, I say the last thing. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to try out that um, massive, was it Bronto? So I think it's a Bronto. We're going to have a look at, we're going to play around with the Bronto just a little bit. And he's, he's going to do a bit of harvesting and stuff like that. Um, just so that we can see what it's like. And then we'll be going. And you, you get it, like, just having one of them and seeing, seeing it in action is going to give you a, a general idea of what all of them are like. Because they're all fairly similar. Um, that's the bees over there. So we'll leave those... We'll leave the, we'll leave the bees be. Stop here. What is that? Oh, that's, uh... 
That's a Bronto. Yeah. That's a bright red Bronto. Wasn't actually expecting to see a bright red one. There, we'll get a little bit of metal right here. And we'll brighten it up a bit so that we can see what we're doing a bit more. We want... Well, uh, if I get, like, 50, how many did I want? You know, I don't remember exactly how many I wanted. What have I got? I, well, I need to... I don't have the timber to do. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll just go like this. We'll take it just as it is, thanks. Uh, we'll go there for the the speed. And we'll go here and we will dump that and we will dump that. And then the berries can go as well like that. There and then you. We will go like that. So I want to get back over there. There's Our house is over on that flat bit right in front of us. Uh, we've got 100 stamina left, some raptors down there below us. I'm hoping that I can get past those and ignore them. 60 stamina. I'm going at full sprint. If I slow down a bit, like you go to normal speed without sprinting. You, you cover more ground without sprinting, but you don't... Um, it takes a lot longer to get there. So I'm just going to sprint, sprint into the last little bit and also... Go in there like that, because as soon as you reach zero stamina, he stops flying. He instantly stops flying and he goes down to the ground. And that's a, it can be a, a really annoying thing that he does. Instantly stopping the flying and then and jumping to the ground. Because sometimes you don't necessarily want to land on the ground right where he's decided he wants to land on the ground. And, and that does cause problems. Okay, access inventory. We put those 46 in there. We take those 34 out. We will go over to you. And we will put those 34 in there like that. We've now got 193. We need another seven. Seven more and we can make that saddle. Oops. Let's keep the fire going, shall we? Um, I need another seven. I haven't even got one yet. Right. Well, we'll let that keep going there. I need a piece of timber. Go and punch a piece of wood here somewhere. And get that bit. Where have I got some timber? Is there a bit down here that I can get? No, my my speed, my, my increased speed is actually pretty cool. I mean, yes, admittedly, I'm now fast enough that uh, I, when, when I jump, it causes me some issues. Why can't I make that one? Why can't, why can't I repair that one? Oh, I need a piece of stone. Fine. I cannot punch stone. I can pick stone up, though. Go over here. No. Right, added six stone. Now I can repair the pick, and then we'll run back up, and we'll see how our uh, um, Watch Me Not is doing. We have five pieces of metal in here so far. I need two more. Two more, and then we're done. We will have made everything that we want to make, and then we can put the saddle on the big dino over there. And that'll be that. So, I mean, you can spend hours and hours in this game. Even, like, with all the bonuses that I gave myself so that I was a lot more difficult. To... You can imagine what this game would be like if you just went in with standard settings up against all those dinosaurs, it then becomes pretty much impossible to be able to survive without um, friends, right? If, if you try and do this game solo, um, it does, it, it gets to the point where it's pretty much, you are not going to be able to do it. Um, if you've got all the basic settings, like capturing T-Rexes and, and other things, the big dinosaurs, if you've got those on, um, I had the, the taming speed sped up. If you have those on standard taming speeds, if you go onto like the standard servers or you run your own server with all the standard speeds, it's, you're, li you're literally looking at hours of real, hours of real life time in order to be able to do it. Um, which I like the concept of it. But again, if unless you've got a large group of people that are able to be on 24-7 and, and, and do this, it just doesn't work. 
I, at, at least for me, is this is not something that I can get a lot out of. Um, which is why I speed all the settings up and I speed up the dinosaur taming and stuff like that. Because uh, otherwise it, it's just, it just takes way too long. I, I literally, I cannot do it. It's far too long. Um, right, I'm almost... I'll eat one more. Right, food. I've now got my food up to 149 out of 150. And we should, I'm hoping, in here... 11 pieces of metal. We've got all the metal that we're going to want. We can go into here. We'll put in those in there. 197. We got those as well, which gives us the ability to make that saddle. It take, takes a little while to make. 150 wood, 200 metal ingots. No, 250 wood, 200 metal ingots. Um... 850 pieces of hide and 600 fibers this is a big big piece of this is a big piece of armor this is a huge great big thing um one thing that we do want to do i know that i'm about to stop playing this game i've been saying so uh but there is one thing i want to do right well first up we've got points there so I'll put three into weight there to give him 200. But no, what I want to do is I want to come over to you, access inventory like that, and I want to give him some food. Because honestly, he's not got any food, so he's, he's, he's wanting to eat a bit there, look. Look at him stuffing it down. Greedy little thing, isn't he? Right, and now we have got a massive, great big dino baby over here. Access inventory, we've got three points. So that, I'm not going to go health. I'm going to go weight on that. 992, 1,000, 24,056. We're going to take that uh, saddle right there. We're going to put that on. And then we're going to ride Dante. There we go. Look at that. You can carry a load of passengers on this one. This is a real beauty. And... We're going to run down here with this one. Gonna run through here. There it go. Because I want to do some gathering with this one. I want to do a bit of gathering with this one. We're going to go right into the forest over here. Right, you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? And you get over here and you, you use the tail. The tail swipes. Like that. I just, that was 13 bits of wood there. There. Alright, you, you, you swipe it like that and... It sort of... It's a little bit odd the way it does it. Uh, Diplodocus this is. I think you get a Brontosaurus. I think there is a bigger one as well you get. Brontosaurus. Um... But you can see it, it's doing exactly the same as a Stego, just on a slightly larger scale. Um, and it does it with its tail as well. So you don't get all that much. And also, this one, it pushes through the trees. So again, it's, it's not brilliant, I don't think. Um, but you, you, you can gather stuff up. There. If I turn it a little bit... Still not getting it. Oh, it's oh, it's actually. I thought it. I thought it sideswiped with the tail, but apparently it doesn't do that. Apparently this one's not sideswiping with the tail. This one's doing it with the head. Right, that's that's how it's doing it here. We're we're we're, use, we're using our head here and sort of head butting our way through it. It's doing a great job of it. Right, we are heavily encumbered at the moment. We've got three points there. I'm carrying 1,100 kilos. So let's level up like that. And I'm no longer over encumbered. Look at the berries that we've got that we're carrying on it now. This is obscene. So I want to drop these. I want to I want to drop all of the berries. And the thatch. Well, actually, we'll, we'll keep some of the thatch. We drop berries and we'll pick up the... We'll leave the timber behind. There's some thatch. Uh, there's a bit more thatch. And you can see that the amount of berries and that that you can go and gather with this is just ridiculous. 
there. But you clear whole forest. But the downside to it is that you clear entire forests without actually getting that much back from it, and that's kind of that's kind of the bit that ends up being wasteful. Uh, right there, I've now got 268 bits of timber, and honestly, I didn't do all that much, and it just it pushes through. It knocks all the trees down as well as, as you go running around. So I can, I can attack like that. The locus has leveled up again. I can use it to knock stuff down and move things around. But generally speaking, um, this is very much like the Stego. It's, it's good for gathering stuff like the Stego does. But um, really, this, this is a beast of burden rather than a beast of gathering. But there we go. We have got our saddle on for that one right there. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, but that is all I'm going to do in this series. I'm not going to do any more. Um, I apologize once again to those people who really, really did want me to play this for a long time. Um, it's it's not a game that I can play. Um, not, not for long periods of time. Not without getting seriously... Rage-induced rage, essentially. It like it honestly. I I there is there's so many small things that really irritate me about this game that um is yeah. I, I don't want to. I I don't want to keep. I don't want to keep knocking it because there are so many good things about this game as well. But it's it's one of those games that I can appreciate, but it's not for me. So I am going to have to wrap this up now. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at it. If you did so, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, or the entire series for that matter, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We're going to be moving on to other things. I will be expanding the number of episodes of Factorio that I'm doing for a while. Uh, but there are plenty of other games coming to this channel as well. So if you have any particular suggestions of things you'd like me to play, then please do, do, do so down in the comments. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.